Hi guys, uh, Daniel and John here and welcome to another one of my product review and how to videos. So today we're going to be looking at some, win some privacy window film. As you can see I'm holding up a box, it's made by a company called Rabbit Goo. Uh, it's rabbitgoo.com, uh, made in China. Uh, it did, we did purchase this from Amazon. It does include a nice instruction leaflet, basically about cleaning the window. But what we're going to do with this video, we, we have previously done a um, window film review. Uh, but we're going to show you the whole process so if you are looking at buying this then um, you know exactly what to do so this is the window so let's have a look at the window film a minute it's like a frosted window film ignore those bits of uh, dirt yeah. on that and it's got backing you peel off and we'll show you that oh, that's, that's the film basically yeah okay so uh, you need to cut this a little bit bigger than your window it says an inch in the instructions, but I a couple of centimetres bigger at either side, so you're going to need a tape measure. Yeah. Now, I cannot stress this enough. Cleanliness really is next to godliness. You've got to make sure this window is clean, because if there's any old bits of paint on it, a bit of muck or something, when you apply your film, it's going to show and spoil it. We're not promoting this product, we'll put a, a, a contact for you on there. This is the best stuff we've ever used. You'll see another video of us using this. So what I'm going to do is literally give the window a clean. But the other thing, my friends, these scrapers, they're plastic, and it's like a plastic razor blade at the end. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to wet the window with this. And I'm just going to scrape it with this to make sure there's no lumps or bumps on it. And dry it off then we're going to start applying the film again this is available i think amazon somewhere like that we'll try and find a link for it right okay so your glass cleaner start at the top Let's do that with it when using a scraper you always want to make sure you can speak even now you can hear it removing a couple of bits sometimes these bits are on here that you just cannot see You hear that then that's that's something it's taken off the thing about plastic scraper these scrapers it won't scratch the glass which is really good see there's a bit there again as we always say in our videos we're not experts we're just trying to show you real life situations uh, people think why you're doing this window particularly well uh, it's on a property belonging to my daughter that overlooks a lot of other properties um, and people can look straight in here so we're just everybody's gonna have a little bit of uh, privacy so it's a good shine off with this and then we're going to do something is that a mark no it's actually in the window and then what we're going to do in a minute is do something that you think well why did they just clean the window? What we're going to do is we're going to spray water on this window in a minute. But before we do that... So those who haven't installed this type of window film, is a, it's, it's quite an interesting way of installing it, isn't it? Yeah. You basically use like a solution, like a soapy water solution. Yeah. You would spray it onto the glass, but we'll show you that in a minute, and then you apply the film. It's not... It's not... It's not sticky sticky, but you put the... the water on yeah. with the solution, then the film, and then it sticks eventually. Right, you're probably was thinking, what's he doing on that tape? So you will need some masking tape. This is frog tape. The only reason we use frog tape rather than a white tape, masking tape, is I know it's not going to rip the paint off the wall. And there's a reason why we need this. So most of this stuff you'd probably have around the home anyway, if you've done like bits of paint and DIY, but obviously there is a, um, a list of uh, tools that make the job easier, and some of the tools are required, obviously. Um, to note, we have prepared this film um, length previous to the video. Yeah. And what you need to do is put the film on the front, and the film, the, the bit that I'm peeling off goes next to the window, so it's the shiny bit there. So it's, it's like a protective. Sometimes you get lucky. So there's that. Bit Give it a little crease when you manage to get it off each corner, stop it springing back on you. 
be honest, normally, if you've got two people to help, it does help. It's probably the hardest part. So you see there, I peel the two corners back. So what I need to do now is place this up somewhere. Peel that back a bit more and just stick my masking tape on. So I've got the tape ready to go on there. I'm just going to brush anything I can see that shouldn't really be on there off. I just don't want it flying. Don't do this in a windy location either cause your problems. Right, okay. And now what I'm going to do is supporting the film at the back. Watch that, a uh, piece of tape on the left as well. Yeah. Yeah. Pull the top. And you can you can feel the static. So this guy back, the next thing to do is to spray your window with water. So this is just an old spray thing washed out water bit. I literally do that with it. The more the merrier. Right, and then the other thing you need to do is spray this. <coughs> Uh, the reason why we're filming from this angle is just for the privacy of uh, neighbours, basically. We don't want to film out the window. Approach on people. So obviously it's, you know, privacy is so important. There's a fair bit of water on that. <coughs> and before you put it on, you keep squirting it doesn't matter. Right, so remove your tools off the windowsill. So this is what I was talking about earlier with regarding spraying on. It's, it's not applied, if you've never put this stuff on before, it's applied differently to what you think it is. Yeah. yeah. One of these, these are normally put on for, I think they're called PA1, it's a 3M on this. <coughs> it's just putting signage on basically. That's what they use it for, it's got an edge there. It does help, gets rid of all the water and stuff you're on. You right. can use a credit card, you but... Well, you can even use a Tesco club card. But with those, they have like a nice felt edge, so you don't end up um, damaging, anything. damaging anything. Yeah, that's... So I'm removing the uh, tape. So I can, it's probably stuck to the wall this already. So I've cut this over side, so I'm putting this side on the window. And here we go. Okay, so we get a good shot of that. So, so yeah, I can move it around with water. I can probably get one end in nice and easy and trim the other one off. So. I hope that's shown up on the video okay, guys. So I'm just going to use the soft bit there. And obviously this window isn't quite straight because I've got a bit of a... So you're just seeing it in real life, real life situation, adjusting it and how you can move it around, etc. Okay. So you do have a fair amount of time with the solution on the window and the um, material to obviously position it like we're doing now. The problem with this window is it's definitely not, the frame is definitely not. The frame is out, yeah. I mean, it's so far out. That's a shame, really. Let's try that again. So we're just going to reposition it now because I see the frame is... Uh, not ideal. And um, all all window films are sort of a similar sort of um, install process to this. And we have done a previous video on some solar reflective stuff, so now, that's on the channel. If we're honest, this is not the best fit in the world. No. Even when we've even oversized it a little bit. The 
basically all you're doing with this is squeezing all the water out. Can you see that on the video? It's sort of just basically getting the water to a certain point and then bringing it down to the bottom to squeeze it out. Do that as well, yeah. Shelts. Yeah. So we don't mind showing you if we make a mistake with our what we do because we know it does help people to avoid those mistakes. Yeah, so if you're thinking about buying this film yourself, then obviously we hope this um, video is really useful to you if you've never installed it before. We will then just trim that up in a minute. So obviously most of the um, water has gone now. What I'm going to do is just pull that back so you can see the difference in perhaps off doing the other corner. Yeah, you can see that a bit better. So if we pull that back there, that's the window as was. Yeah. And obviously that's the window now. With the you just one. bring that down, won't you? Yeah. So that's quite um, good. There's a little gap there. We can sort that out, not too fast. Yeah. Um, as, as we said, if you are cutting this stuff, just leave a little bit more, just measure the window, but leave a, be sensible, don't cut it exact, leave a little bit more so you've got, I've got enough thing here. to trim it if you need to. There's enough here where it's, and I have trimmed this with a straight edge, so I can only think that the frame is, is out, but that's life. Okay, so now we've got to do a little bit of trimming, so... The easiest way that I find to do that is the safety ruler. This is more than safety ruler. You can put your fingers in there at the minute. The utility knife, please put a fresh blade in there. Yeah, the new blade is the best. Because it'll just cut. Yeah. Or as you might, you, if it's a dull blade, you might snag the material and pull it in it. And basically, you want to push this up against your film there, as close as you can get it to the window and come down with your utility knife, pushing all the way as you're coming down, stop a couple of centimetres before the end, push up again. Show you a close up of that. So basically you've got like the frame, the seal, the glass and the film is on top of the seal, uh, the glass, so we're trimming the the excess, basically. Sorry, what was it called? I completely forgot. Uh, sorry, the, obviously the window film. We're trimming the window film against the seal. Just so it's nice and neat. Keep coming down with it. There's no rush with this. Remember, these knives are sharp. And what I suggest you do, before you pull it away, go back up to the top. It. Pushing hard against the rubber seal. And just make sure it's actually coming away now. So it's just nicked at the top there, which yeah. you would expect it to. So that is quite an effective way of cutting. But we'd bring that with a squidge, we'd bring that in, so that'd be fine. Well, if you just chop a bit off when it gets in the way, life makes life comes a bit easier. So I just want to stick to everything. This so. take it from here is the easiest way to cut. These are what two or three quid. I think yeah. even before you put put this up, just buy one. Yeah. It's not worth and get one of these because you can use a debit or credit card but if you scratch or cut it you're going to have to buy some new film. And obviously obviously with these films they're, um, they're not the cheapest in the world. They are good but they're not the cheapest in the world. So if you know how to fit them properly and you've got the tools it definitely will save you some money and obviously time. So here we've got a bit of gap there, a little bit. Oh yeah, a little bit. Um, and the easiest way of doing that, to be honest, 
if I wanted to, it's just pop a bit under there like that. If I wanted to. If you wanted to, yeah. Oh, I probably won't even bother. Nah. Anyway, what we should have done with this, is cut it probably another couple of centimetres longer. Um, presume the window was square. It isn't. It fits perfectly there, but not um, anywhere else. We need to trim that off a little bit. If you don't trim this, uh, you'll find that the film doesn't stick to the window. It's always popping up, so it's important that you do trim it. To be honest, we've had a few tools in our time, and, and uh, we often say this is probably one of the best purchases we made, this safety ruler, because it just makes life so much easier. And they all seem to stick in the corner. Now, you see those little black bits there, now I've had this before, there, and underneath. What happens is you're cleaning the window, giving it a grip of clean, and sometimes what happens is it flushes stuff out of the seal. And you don't even see it sometimes until you've got the window on. So you just need to pull back and have a wipe. You have got you have got plenty of time before the liquid actually evaporates and yeah, it sticks. So rush with it. it's not it's not like super glue, but you know you need to crack it's on. It's annoying when you get bits on there. Yeah, okay. especially if you want a nice job. Yeah. Right. So that's our attempt. The mistakes we made we cut it a little bit short. So that's different. that's basically the finished thing. Yeah. There you go, that's it. And that will give you complete privacy. Uh, you could use it in bathrooms, doors. Um, Oops. You could even divide and cut this up, to be honest, if you wanted to. We've, we've done that in the past, haven't we? We've had bits and then we've used them on little little panes. And... Yeah, well, you could put a gap in between, you can make it look pretty, you could put a square and leave an edge and all sorts. So, um, so this was £10. Um, it's because where it is, needs, uh, we need the privacy, uh, looking out of people's gardens. Yeah. Uh, we just did that, really, for us and everybody else. So, um, yeah. Overall, uh, so, we have used this brand before. Um, and I've always rated it, that's why we've always bought it. They do. They do a range of really nice window films, they do the sort don't of they? Yeah. Things and Real all nice sorts ones. Of things, yeah. It's all the same. Uh, a key advantage with this as well is that if you want to take it off and replace it, you're moving. We just fancy something different, something different for Christmas even. Just pull it off. It doesn't mark the window. It's uh, landlord friendly if you're renting your property, which is good. So, what are the key? What are the key tools that you'll need for this? So if you, the absolute, absolute minimum tools. So if you think about buying this, what is the minimum you'll need? This is what I would recommend. Just to install it and get it done sort of thing without any too many problems. You definitely have a tape measure. Tape measure, okay. One that doesn't measure short. Oh yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, the scraper to make sure your wind is clean. Okay. Ideally one of these plastic ones that doesn't scratch. When using this, make sure the window is wet. You definitely need some uh, water in a spray bottle you've got. Spray bottle, essential. Yeah. It's essential. Masking tape to hold the film on while you spray it with water as well. On the back of a wall. Utility knife. Or Stanley knife. That. You'll use that time and time again. Get yourself a safety ruler. You don't need it, but I'd suggest you get it. It makes cutting in a lot easier. You can see it's quite a neat edge there. Yeah. It makes life a lot easier. Um, and a bit of a cloth, nice soft cloth afterwards, just to... I mean the edges, you can actually use the cloth, can't you, just to... Yeah. Um... Um, a bit of water on the windowsill, but that's it. But that took us what? If we were doing it without the video, probably 10, 15 minutes. Fully done, yeah. Obviously, we're taking our time because we're doing the video. Can I just say one thing? What's it? Measure twice. Measure twice. Cut, cut once. once. I know that we've cut a little bit short in the corner, but I'm blaming it on the window frame. 
but well the, yeah. the film has been cut square and the yeah, window frame so, film is um, off the window frame is off a little bit so yeah anyway if this helps you uh, keep your nosy neighbours out and helps you along a bit or just protects your privacy in fact cut the sunshine out of it which is to so keep the hat oh, the other thing about these films is it keeps the your uh, house cooler yeah, does, yeah. and obviously with the solar reflective ones it's even better but um, yeah so if you think about buying this film then we hope our video is helpful to you uh, if you do have any questions feel free to ask us um, we've installed a few films so we do know a little bit um, but the key thing to take away from this is make sure you've got the basic tools and other bits are yeah. handy but and keep it all clean just take your time Don't basically skip on that. that's a really good call that yeah nah, keep going on about that because it'll stop your hands again and you'll get a nice neat edge um, you can well. use you don't have to use a stanley knife you can use a cheap utility knife but yeah. most people have got a standing we'll knife we'll put a link to perhaps utility knives and things yeah on, on um when we do the youtube just to help you along a little bit i, I tr treat the tools that we list on this video as as important as the window film you're buying because we bought some other window film without digressing too much, which we're going to install perhaps tomorrow, and that's a little bit more expensive. So you'll find once you've put some window film on one window, you go, ah, oh, that's nice. Let's try it on something else. Yeah. The issue then got all the tools for it. Yeah, exactly. So I guarantee it won't be just for one exercise. Yeah. 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 Anyway, thanks again for watching, and I hope this helps somebody. Thank you.